Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use VOSC to do a speech recognition. Okay. So a couple of years ago, I used to use um, a package or library called Pocket Sphinx, which was quite popular to do a speech recognition. Uh, it was really good because it was very lightweight, which means that you could run uh, without a problem. And I think the same creators, uh, they've created a new uh, library called VOSC, which is almost um, the Box Phoenix, but it's better because it's it's it has a much better performance and has more models. Um, by the way, there's a Portuguese model that wasn't available for a couple of years for um, the Box Phoenix. So let's go with this tutorial so we can have some um, information about the installation. To install this, you guys need a couple of um, dependencies. The main one is PyAudio. So to have the PyAudio package or library installed first, I, I do recommend you guys to install PyAudio first. You can go to this website and when I'm using Windows, so if you guys are on Linux, you shouldn't have a problem. You should just type uh, pip install by audio, some uh, pip install by audio, okay? Something like this and run. And if you're running, if you run Python 3, which I think you guys, you can run something like this on Ubuntu and should work. Uh, on Windows, unfortunately, we don't have a uh, compile wheel for uh, PyAudio. Let's go here. I'm going to search again. And let's go with uh, the files. Yeah, they don't have for... As you guys can see, they don't have the compiled packages. So to, to download this or to install, you guys need to go to this website, which has a bunch of packages and search for Pi Audio. You guys can do um, Control F and Pi Audio. Okay. Here's a link. So here we have all of the compiled wheels for Windows. Uh, from Python 2.7 to Python 3.10, which is the newest one. And let me see what Python version I'm using. So I'm using Python 3.7.8. So 3.7 should work. And it's right here. Another thing that changed about this um, VOSC library is that with the newest version, let me see which is the newest version. Okay, I need to search here. Let me try to reload this. Mm. I cannot search right now. Oh no. Let's go if let's go back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this thing's popping up. Uh let me try again, guys. Okay, there we go. So if you go search for Vosk here, uh, we should see uh, the newest version, which was about two months ago, okay? Actually, a month and a half ago. So this newer version works um, on Python 3.7, which I think 3.6, which didn't work before. So um, you guys need to download this one of these files. So to do that, you can just click, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, actually. So I'm using Python 3.7. So this is my file here. I'm gonna click on it, okay? And I'm gonna, if I'm gonna control J, I see this file, I'm gonna open up the folder, which is right here. So this is the folder of this file, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna right click, go to properties, I'm gonna go to security, I'm gonna copy this path, which is the entire path of the file, copy, 
I need to open up another terminal with uh, admin privileges. To do that, you need to uh, to hold Control Shift Enter, and we're gonna ask you for permission to run as admin. I'm gonna grant that permission. So we have a new terminal, and I'm gonna go with pip install, and let's copy the file. I think this should work. Let's see. Okay. As you guys can see, Python uh, Py Audio is already installed with with the same version as the provided will. So, uh, doing that, I'm gonna go with pip install vosk, okay? And should install vosk uh, because I already have it. Um, it's not going to install. So that's pretty much all you need to do to install vosk on your computer. So now let's talk about how to use it. Um, so the first thing you need to do is to find a model in which you guys want to use. So I'm going to turn, because this video is in English, of course, I'm going to test a English model. So if you go to the website, let's go to models. And here they have some models. Um, I recommend you guys to test the smallest uh, model, which is this one, which I have downloaded already on my computer. Um, so you guys can download this file. I'm going to download just for the sake of it. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do step by step. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's not starting, I think. Let me try again, guys. Mm, that's odd. <laughs> okay. Um, let me think for a bit, guys. What should I do? I do I do already have this on my computer. I have several models here. I have um, this one for English. Well, let me see how it's... Okay, this one is the, the one I'm trying to download. That's, I think, it's bigger. I, I don't know which one is it. I think... Okay, I think this is... Uh, Indian English, I think this is the one. So we have this file. Let's create a file now. Let me close this from the last video. Let's create a new file. I'm gonna save on workspace, coding tutorials, Python. Let's create a folder. Let's go with Vosk. Okay. And let's go with asr.py, which is for automatic speech recognition. So Let's import Vosk. What do you think? Import Vosk. Uh, actually, from Vosk, we're going to import model and Kaudi recognizer. Okay. Uh, so, we also need to import um, Pi Audio, as I said before, because we need this to capture the audio. So, we need to load the, the model. And as, as an argument, we pass the path. Okay, so I could just copy this path that I have here, properties and security. I could load this model from here. So let's run this to see what ha what happens. Okay, um, folder does not contain modifiers. Make sure it was specified per constructor. Okay. Um, let me see what's happening, guys. Mm, that's that's odd. Let's go back here. So this is just to read the model, okay? Uh, read the model. We need to low. Let's go. Let's create a new variable called recognizer, which is going to be the code recognizer. Call the recognizer. We're gonna pass the model, and we're gonna pass the the frequency which this model works, which is sixteen hundred and sixteen thousand actually. So let's run this. It should. Um, oh, okay. I see. Uh, which was happening? I need to pass this in R here to convert the full path on Python. So this should put pass the absolute path of this. So now uh, it works 
uh, as intended. So we've we've loaded the model into memory. Now we need to make some recognition and to recognize from the microphone. Okay, recognize from the microphone. There's a uh, really good way to do this is by using Pyoto. So let's go with P, create a variable. Or let's go with cap from capture uh, equals PyAudio dot pi audio i'm gonna make this audio um and i think it's good pi audio okay pi audio let's create a new object we need to create a string object which is going to be cap dot open and to capture audio on um pi audio you need to specify some of the things one of them is the format which is going to be a pyoto dot pa in 16. So I have some code on my second monitor, which I'm seeing here. Shins equals one and rate equals 16,000. And input equals true, which I think specifies that we're going to use um, a microphone and frames per buffer, frames per buffer equals i'm gonna go with eight one okay which is eight kilobytes so we're gonna go with a string dot start start stream start stream and while true we're gonna go with data equals stream dot read i'm gonna read um four bytes which is um this um four thousand ninety six four bytes if land data is equal equals to zero i'm gonna break okay um i don't think this is really necessary but i'm gonna check in a bit uh if rec uh recognizer dot accept uh waveform which is a function that verifies if this data is valid we're gonna go with print and to recognize we're gonna go with recognizer dot result okay uh so uh this is a function i'm gonna remove this just for the sake of it and let's test this out okay uh module okay pi audio Okay, I forgot to capitalize the A. Let's start. Uh, accept waveform. Um, just has no. Um, accept. Accept. Waveform. Okay. This one is not capitalized. Okay. Test. Okay, it works. Okay, it works. As you guys can see, I am recognizing my speech through the microphone using VOSC. Okay, so it works as intended. Um, as I said, I, I didn't think that that part was necessary. Uh, we also have uh, other models here, which I wasn't able to download. There must be some kind of bug on this web browser or something, okay? But um, you guys can download. Uh, you can try to download. If you can't not download, you guys can uh, comment down below. I could share with you guys some of these models that I've loaded. I got a bunch of them for Russian, Portuguese, French. Um, so that's pretty much the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you guys learned something from this video, you guys can comment down below. Um, and there is. Um, so if you guys, thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.